uh, integer float and complex number these numeric data types are immutable means we cannot change the uh, values of it Im meaning of immutable but later on in the we can create the variable same variable again and we can assign another value to it another integer value we can assign but the reference for that variable is a different means different reference that is object is created for those variables so integer float and complex numbers are the immutable data types then next data type is a boolean data type which is represented by one of the value that is either true or false true means one and zero means false you can represent it like var2 equals to true where t is capital and in false f is capital so you can you can represent these boolean data types uh, by assigning value either true or false so uh, this we have seen to get the type of any variable we use type function so using type function pass the variable name or the data you can retrieve the data type of variable the next data type is string data type so string is a sequence of one or more unicode characters that is enclosed in single quote double quote or triple quote marks uh, and python strings are also immutable so it is when you create when you assign another string to a same string variable it will create a different reference to it string variable uh, is a non numeric data type so we cannot perform arithmetic operations on it but other operations we can perform like slicing concatenating or uh, these operations we can perform on the string so str is the class which is used to define the string data type uh, variables and which defines a number of useful methods are there for string processing we'll see those functions in later part of this course so right now just remember that string is a sequence of unicode characters and which is enclosed in either single quote double quote or triple quote and strings are also immutable uh, and concatenation and slicing like functions we can perf uh, operate on the string so we'll see the example of string suppose i want to store my name in a variable so i can include it in single quote okay. so i have given my name so if i print it name it will give me the value as name suppose i want to add concatenate it with my surname so i can have name plus is used to concatenate the string so it is concatenating so my result is sheetal dinde or if i want to just retrieve some portion of this particular name data so if i want to retrieve just first two characters so i can use slicing for that numbers of first two character so s h r the first two characters of it so similarly we can perform more operations on string that will study in later part of this course in detail so remember either we can include in enclosed it in single quote or double quote string variables then next data type is a sequence data type where we have two sequence types list and tuple lists are most versatile compound data type where it is an ordered collection of similar or different types of items separated by comma and these are enclosed in a square brackets so python list can contain collection of elements which is of different types same types or different types python list is an object of list class 
and python lists are mutable means there is no separate reference is created for when you update particular list it holds the data in the same variable of same reference the value stored in a python list can be accessed using slice operation with indices starting with zero beginning of the list and working their way to the end index is minus one so these are the operations we can perform on the python list more we will study in the later part of this course in detail for the list so i'll show the example how list works so if i store these values in the list so these are the same kind of values i can store into the list so if i print this value of l it gives me the value as 1 2 3 4 so this is the list example which holds the similar kind of values i can have another list in which i can store the data of different type so i can have number data i can have string data i can have floating point data i can have complex number okay so i can hold any kind of data into the list so l2 contains the data of different types so list is a collection of ordered collection of elements where it can hold similar kind of data as well as different kinds of data so you can access any value from it by using indices so if i want to access the element of second index so i'll get the 30.56 if i want to retrieve the elements of l1 that is l ranges from index 1 to index 3 so i'll get the values as 2 and 3 so list slicing list indexing we can have we can add more elements into it we can delete the elements from the list we can perform all the operations on it in detail we'll see this in the later part of this course so this is the list data type then we have tuple data type in tuple data type this is also ordered collection of elements we can which can hold similar or different kinds of values and these are separated by comma and these are represented in round brackets tuples are represented in round bracket uh, tuple is an object of tuple class to form a tuple use parenthesis is optional if the data is represented as separated by comma by default it is considered as a tuple and tuple is immutable data type so it is also a read only data type we cannot perform addition uh, we cannot add values in it we cannot delete the values from tuple so this is the difference between list and tuple list are mutable and tuples are immutable so we'll see the example of tuple so tuple t which is in round brackets so i can have any kind of data in tuple i can have list another list in it another tuple in it so this is a tuple t suppose i want to retrieve that list so that list is present at fifth index in the tuple so i can access like t of 5 i'll get the list in the tuple so list slicing list sorry tuple slicing tuple indexing we can perform but i cannot add new values into the tuple okay. or i cannot delete the values from the tuple so tuples are the read only data type the next is the mapping data type that is dictionary so python dictionary is an ordered collection of items 
it stores elements in key value pair the pair are separated by comma and these are placed inside the curly brackets to establish mapping between key and value the semicolon is used as a separator a dictionary key can be almost any python type but usually we use the numbers and strings values on the other hand can be any arbitrary python object dictionary is an object that of dict class so dict is used to represent the dictionary value can be assigned and accessed using square brackets so and dictionaries are also mutable data type so we'll see the example of dictionary so if i represent dictionary d using this i can see the type of this d this is an empty dictionary i can see the type of it as dict so i can store more values in it so d of i have to pro provide the key value pair so key name is equals to so this is so if i call the uh, object d of dictionary it shows that one value is stored in it that is name is the key and sheetal is the value assigned to that name or i can create another dictionary which holds the values one which stores the one then two stores the two likewise i can have the dictionary which contains key and value pair so one numeric is the key and one in string is an value is a value so likewise i can create dictionary dictionaries are mutable one and last data type is set data type so set is a python implementation of set as defined in mathematics same operations we can perform on the data set is an unordered collection of unique items if you try to add uh, duplicate elements in it when you print that particular set it will remove all those values it it just holds only unique values in it set is a defined by values separated by comma inside the curly braces a uh, curly brace is used to represent dictionary as well as set but in dictionary we have key value pair that is not for the set which it just holds the uh, data items in the set is collection may not follow the same order in which they are entered the position of items is optimized by python to perform operations over set as defined in mathematics so sequence is not uh, defined for the set data type set can store only immutable objects such as number integer float complex boolean string or tuple even if a set does not allow mutable items the set itself is a mutable so in set we can store only immutable objects but the set itself is a mutable means we can add values in it we can delete the values from the set we can we can we can perform manipulation operations on the set and uh, we have different functions related to perform these operations as well as we have different operators to perform these operations on set so we'll see the example how we can define this set so set s1 curly braces are used to define the set so it holds only static uh, uh, sorry it holds only mutable data types so if i try to print the s1 so here you can see that the s s is a string that i have given at position 5 but when i print it that ss is uh, 
is presented at at the end so the sequence may change when you add the values in the set and if i try to add string value in a uh, list value in the tuple so i'll declare another uh, set for it and i try to add the list i try to add another dictionary in it so these are the mutable data types so it is giving the error unhashable type list so we cannot add the mutable data types in the set only immutable data types we can add in set so that i want to show it gives the error now we uh, we are discussing like mutable and immutable so how we can check it suppose i declare one variable l l1 which has the value list it contains the list okay these are the variables i have values i have added into the l1 suppose i try to update it so first i'll check the what is the reference is given for this l1 so using id i can get the reference of it so id of l1 so uh, check this number now i'll try to update this particular l1 so l1 equals to l1 i want to append some values to it okay so l1 contains 6 7 also now check the reference of it reference of l1 